Hey beautiful friends, if you can hear me above the, uh, the vibration of my tires and the wind coming through the window, uh, as you'll see I have this lovely rubber ducky, this huge lovely rubber ducky. This is actually a float that a friend of mine uh, left in my vehicle. But it's kind of cool having, because every time I see it, it reminds me of the fun that we had together and the kids enjoying themselves and it's just a good thing. Anyway, I came to you not just to say hey and hi and I love you though. Hey, hi, I love you. I uh, also have a, have a tool I wanted to share with you today. <clears throat> We've been talking a lot about different concepts, conscious concepts, and even some like little activities and things you can do to bring some of the things home. But I wanted to talk about a tool today, which <clears throat> it's going to get a little bit weird from the standpoint of functional reality because we're talking energetics. There are things that, that we are and everything else is, but nobody really talks about. So this tool is for creating space. Now, yesterday we talked about making our our energy expand to being bigger than our problems but there's also a way to create space within yourself in a situation uh, or the way that you feel in a situation uh, which will allow you to have space to create something different that's really what space is just there for space is there to provide you a place to be where you can create uh, from a place of contraction where all of your energy is in close trying to figure out um, how to get out of a problem there's not really much much space to exist there and that's why you feel so closed down just watching this traffic here and make sure i'm not gonna get hit by anyone okay we're gonna let that person go first go ahead go ahead thank you all right cool haha -ha. anyway <laughs> on my way to work as i was yesterday um it's interesting that I can pull this off, isn't it? Where I can drive down the road and conduct a video at the same time and not crash into anybody. Still have uh, total awareness. Uh, it's an interesting thing that I found, and I'll get back to the topic in a moment, uh, where you can actually not be looking, uh, but about the time that you're going to enter the space of somebody else's stuff, uh, you get an awareness to look. And every time I look, I'm about the same distance away from the object that I would would have hit if I didn't get that awareness. So <laughs> awareness is better than human vision all day long because as your your energy, you know, contacts another energy, you're aware of this from an energetic standpoint and it has you pop your head up to look. <clears throat> Interesting, anyway. Loving this little hair thing I got going on. Uh, I did the the, uh, the straight shower and not much more attention than that. Did some uh, some sun sun gazing, sun bathing kind of activities a little bit today, and uh, just didn't really think much about my hair. So here I am thinking about my hair. What do you think? I think it's lovely. Anyway, back to the tool. So the tool. I said it's weird, it's weird because it's energetic, but it's awesome because it works. This is something I use on it, well, I, every, as often as I need to use it, uh, but pretty much on a daily basis, this is, this is one of my daily tools, and it's called Interesting Point of View, and it is all about managing your point of view, or having no point of view to manage, <clears throat> because a point of view has polarity. The point of view is a concept with polarity attached to it. You know, it's, it's now your point of view, and your points of view create your reality, right? So you want to manage your points of view wisely so you're not creating haphazard things in your life or just creating things by accident. You want to create on purpose. So, all right, interesting point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. It's how the tool begins to work, okay? And what it is is, let's say you get into a spot or a space with someone or with a group of someone's people, a group of people, and you just have this energy that makes you feel kind of contracted on yourself, just not wanting to connect, you know? Uh, you know, if there's somebody that you feel like makes you want to run and hide or 
whatever it is, there's some kind of energy uh, between you that makes you uncomfortable. Now, you can't tell me energetics aren't real because you know this happens to you all the time. You'll walk into a place and you're just like, oh no, or oh yeah, that's energetics. Can you see that? Can you taste it? Can you touch it? Not exactly. Is it not real? It's so real. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get back to how we adjust this now. Okay, so let's say I come into a space, you and I have had some kind of a a rub of points of view or some kind of something and now I can feel the tension, you can feel the tension and we're just kind of avoiding each other now or I just am avoiding or you're just avoiding or whatever the case is but this is where you feel stuck or unable to move past this barrier with this person or people or yourself and so what you do is you say you, you say to that energy that you feel and you can do this in your head I like doing it out loud but Sometimes, you know, you want to do it in your head when you're around other people, and that's totally fine. So you say to this energy, interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. And after you've said that to the energy, just be present with the energy. And then say it again, interesting point of view, I have this point of view. And every time that you say, interesting point of view, I have this point of view, to this energy and be present with this energy, you'll notice this energy change. And so you say it three to seven times usually is about how long it takes for it to change completely. Uh, usually it goes away completely and you no longer have a point of view at all, which doesn't, which keeps you from being stuck in that situation. But after interesting point of view, I have this point of view, or interesting point of view, they have this point of view, uh, then you can go to interesting point of view, I have this point of view that they're having this point of view. Or interesting point of view, I have this point of view about them having that point of view. What often will be the best route for all of this though is you start with interesting point of view, they have this point of view. Because it's their point of view that you're, in, that you're sensing and you may have points of view about it as well that you may or may not know, but you can always start with interesting point of view, they have this point of view. Interesting point of view, they have this point of view. And you say that, you know, three, four, five times, you'll feel the energy start to shift. There's more energy there to deal with though, folks, just because it started to move doesn't mean that you're not starting to get a point of view about them having a point of view now or about the whole process involved. So now interesting point of view, I have this point of view three to five times. And then interesting point of view, I have this point of view about them having that point of view. By the when you hit that one right there, that, that's the one that frees me the most. It's usually that I have a point of view about somebody else having a point of view. And it's just a point of view, we've all got them. They're, they're just interesting, you know? And if you can function from a space of every point of view is interesting, even your own, you will not be stuck by so many things in life. And you'll be able to be present with everything, no matter what's going on. Try it out. Try it on for size, as they say. This has worked dynamically for me and thousands of people across the planet. This is a, a tool from Access Consciousness, which is the modality that I use most predominantly in my daily function. And I'll be sharing a lot of tools from Access Consciousness because these tools have changed my life. And not only changed my life, like, oh, they, they changed the situation or helped me change my life and now I'm all good. It's like, no, you're constantly gonna wanna change things, folks. You're constantly going to want to change things at, a, at, at an energetic level so that you don't have things physically to have to change. Now, we're going to be able to change all the physical things in your life by changing the energetics. And if you stick with me, we're going to be able to do these things together. But you're also going to be able to prevent things from manifesting physically in the future by preventing them energetically, managing your points of view. And then you can start to take this energy and this focused point of view, points of view or no points of view, and create from that space. That's a whole lot of stuff your brain's not gonna understand. Your brain is not, uh, your mind, <clears throat> your human mind is not set up to, to wrap around such concepts. And so these things, as I say them, they go straight to the energy and bypass the cognitive function of your brain because it just can't wrap up how big you really are. Uh, so. Anyway, hope this has helped. Give it a shot. Watch the video a few times if you need to get the idea of how this works. 
but enjoy interesting point of view and the freedom that it brings. And just be an interesting point of view and have a good time with life. It's all about having fun and how much we can create here. So have fun and be creative. Love y'all. See you next time.